Hello subscribers, thanks very much for joining me. Uh, we're going to be looking at the Queen's Beast um, sort of recap as such. I'm going to put the eye up here, so should you want to check out my uh, Queen's Beast reviews individually, a little eye is going to pop up there and you'll see the playlist of the entire list of uh, Queen's Beast that I've done. Definitely worth a look, check those out. Uh, we're going to start off with the uh, Lion. This is the Lion, the 2 ounce. Um, I know some there are some channels out there waiting for this one or, or essentially pricing on this one is a bit of a, a bit on the heavy side but um this is the one that started it all so you've got the line of england 2016 lovely two ounce piece obviously the background was different uh, to the latest one so it didn't have the galush uh, background uh, which we'll get across in the uh, first scene in the unicorn um so uh, the current background it was sort of just a normal kind of finish although it doesn't look that normal to be honest but um inter inter interesting enough looking at the older coin the uh the queen's effigy is sort of lost with this background slightly uh whereas if you look at the galush background once we get to the unicorn you'll see it's slightly different but uh, this is a nice one they've used sort of a frosted highlight on the lettering as well uh nice and clear uh, I love the uh, the lion. Hmm, definitely one of my favourites. The next one was the griffin piece. So we've got the two ounce griffin here. Uh, also a very much a stunning piece. So there's the griffin. Also with the frosted lettering there. Very nice indeed. Griffin pr um, very prominent there. And then, of course, you've got the shield. Like I said, you're welcome to check out the video and check out the individual reviews. Again, the eye is just up here, and if you want to hover your mouse over it, you'll see it pop up. Standard background on this one. Effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, £5 face value. Lovely. I've recently got some capsules for them. These are lovely. I got these off AliExpress. They were nice and uh, affordable is probably the uh, correct term. Not necessarily cheap, but also very nice quality. Also, the coin doesn't uh, doesn't move around inside. So, perfect fit. So, I've actually ordered some more because I'm missing... I've got three two-ounce pieces that, um, that need uh, capsules. And uh, the next one to follow on was the dragon, the, the red dragon of Wales. Also, a fantastic piece. 2017. I remember buying this. One thing to take note in the Queen's Beast series is the values are looking good. You know, from an investment or investment on return, um, I'd, I'd say I'm very happy with this. I wish I'd bought some more actually, and just bought maybe five or six sets because um, they're selling extremely well on eBay. Uh, there we go. Five pound again. Um, you can still see the uh, galush background is only going to be on the next piece, which we're going to be taking a look at on the uh, Unicorn of Scotland. But uh, the dragon, very nice as well. And again, lovely two ounce piece, Royal Mint. We move on. This one is the one I'm missing a capsule for. I've just got it in one of these pouches for now. This is the Unicorn of Scotland. So you guys can see that okay. And you can see the lettering in that is a standard lettering. But. Um, very nice piece all the same and uh, the beautiful um, the Lion of uh, Scotland there's the back there's the glush now obviously one thing you can note straight away is the effigy is straight away prominent now if I show you one of the older coins there which didn't have the uh, the glush it's semi lost in the back there and then the moment I bring the the other piece up bingo Light catches the uh, the galush background, and you can clearly see the uh, effigy there of Queen Elizabeth II. You can even see a lot more detail in regards to the face, the hair, and the crown. Five pound face value, very nice indeed. The next one out was the Black Bull of Clarence. This is a lovely one as well. Uh, I know Southside Stacker had commented previously that was probably one of his favourites. In regards to it, especially in the line detail there. There we go, look at that. Lovely. Two ounce, four nines fine. 2018 release. 
And again, the galush background, nice and prominent. Five pound face value. Then it was the turn of the Plantagenets, the Falcon of the Plantagenets. Two ounce fine silver, four nines fine 2019 re release. This was released in, I think it was November. Um, obviously there's the Falcon and the Crest. Lovely. Hmm, lettering's nice and clear. And the galush background. Five pound face value. Very nice indeed. And then the latest one is the Yale, which I've um, obviously done. That was say, a couple of videos ago. So again, this is just a recap on regards to the Queen's Beast. So there's the Yale of, of Buford. The poor colour shield. Lovely. Thanks very much for watching. Hit that like button. Hit uh, the, uh, obviously in regards to any comments you may currently have, uh, stick your comments down below. Hit the uh, subscribe button as well. I'd certainly appreciate um, um, any feedback you may have. Thanks very much for watching as usual. Hit the subscribe button in the middle there and enjoy the other content on the side. I'll see you on the next video.